Oral health refers to the condition of our teeth and mouth. Oral diseases include tooth decay, tooth wear, tooth loss and inflammation of the gums, but also conditions such as oral lesions, mouth and lip cancers. Oral diseases have a significant impact on people's health across the globe, but they affect more those with specific vulnerabilities, including severe mental illness. Until now, oral health has not been a priority in the care of people with severe mental illness, despite evidence that people with schizophrenia and bipolar disorder are likely to have more tooth decay and more teeth lost due to oral health problems compared to the general population. So, why is oral health important? Oral health problems can have a huge impact on general health and quality of life. Dental diseases can lead to pain, problems with eating, difficulty sleeping, and problems with speaking and smiling. They can lead to loss of self-esteem and reduced social interaction, which can compromise relationships, work, and life opportunities. Mouth cancers can be life-changing and potentially lethal. So why are oral health problems more common in this group? Things that we do every day, such as inadequate toothbrushing, excessive consumption of sugary foods and drinks, alcohol, smoking and chewing tobacco, are common causes of oral health problems. Social and financial difficulties can also affect our ability to look after our teeth or have access to dentists. People with severe mental illness experience specific risks to their oral health including side effects of their medication, such as dry mouth that makes teeth more prone to decay. A combination of risk factors can lead to increased oral health problems for people with severe mental illness. But unfortunately, these are often not addressed in their package of care. Existing interventions to tackle oral health problems in people with severe mental illness have looked at how an individual can change their behavior. However, this does not take into account the wider barriers to oral care in terms of accessing appropriate help and support. We need approaches that look at the whole system, in addition to individual behaviours, to improve oral health. In this project, we want to hear the perspectives of people who experience severe mental illness, as well as the perspectives of their families and health professionals, so that we can understand the benefits and limitations of the current oral care system. We would also like to understand what the barriers are for people with severe mental illness which get in the way of maintaining healthy teeth, gums and mouth, including seeing a dentist. Finally, we would like to brainstorm solutions about how to overcome these barriers. Once we know what the specific barriers are to good oral health and what factors may be helpful and supportive, we want to co-produce an oral health intervention with input from service users and their carers and from dental health and mental health professionals. We will continue to work together to evaluate whether this intervention can help to improve oral health and narrow oral health inequalities for people living with severe mental illness. People with mental illness will have good oral health. That's the aim of our study. With your help and support, we want to achieve that goal. Thank you.